Which I think I'm going to head back to the first area again. Can't forget about the Leaflinks now, they're castaways too, just like we were. Which area you'd like to explore. Let's go back to the Sun Speckled Terrace and see if we can go through it quickly. We can also go get the last item in the Blossoming Arcadia as well. Okay, let's go. Starting off, let's try and get this onion, which looks like it actually moved back up, which is actually kind of sad because we could have wanted it down, probably. So, so we could actually have done this earlier if I came back to it, since it went back up, apparently. But that's fine. We also could have just walked across, couldn't we? That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Have I built that? We need to build that, don't we? I think I built that. Probably. Gonna get a bunch of new blue Pikmin for this. Okay. There shouldn't be a ton of stuff to collect, but there is stuff to collect, so... Let's head back to the base and go get some things. Gonna have to check the map some more to make sure I know what I'm doing. I also like the way that it uses this area differently at night. I'm kind of sad that I'm not doing that now. In a way. Also, it doesn't look like, like the enemies respawned. Or at least none that I've seen so far. So maybe that's something I don't need to worry about. Maybe? Hang on, let me check the map. Yeah, it seems like, like the enemies didn't respawn. They're still dead. Okay. I would have thought that they would respawn, but I guess not. This also there is rock piles I probably want to get in a minute. I want to get these two treasures first. And then we can go do some caves. See how we, quickly we can do those. I know it's probably not the most interesting thing to see me going back through this, but also... I just want to see how efficient we can be, given that we have so much more stuff now. So do I need to pull that down? That's another good question. That I don't know the answer to. We probably don't need to pull this down, but we can. It would have allowed us to get some stuff earlier. In the game. Faster. Just like that. But I think that's not quite. There's one more, isn't there? Just gonna rush around. I don't know if that's faster or not. You'd hope so. Oh, so we get the blue on your back? I think we did, and it didn't do a message for it, but it did happen, so... Got some more blues, I suppose. Let's get that. Now, do I have to redo this dungeon? No, I've already got 100% of that. Cool. And I think with that, that is everything that we need to worry about. Cool. Let me make sure this goes by faster then. Like that. Doesn't matter if we leave some behind because they'll come with us anyway. I'm just gonna try and get some more materials and stuff. Treasure collected. The meter's still going though. So what did I miss? Or is it just showing that there's stuff in caves? It's probably just showing that there's stuff in caves. Yeah, there we go. Get that, please. <laughs> Gonna let them get that. Oh. Although they are taking their time, so... That's fine. This is this is pretty chill for now. Look at all those points we like those materials we got just from doing all the quests. We can also enter from any level that we want to, which is good. Kinda want to bring these. Just to see if I can use them to go fast. We can only take three types of Pikmin, so that's also something else to keep in mind. When going into dungeons. Unless we can get more. I think we ha we've probably had more than three types before, because if we go into a dungeon with four types in it, then we have to be able to. Just gonna go straight through. Oh, so close. 
Well, that's fine. Can this work? Or will they get stuck? No, they get stuck. Okay. Guess that's fine. There's also more Pikmin to pluck down here, so... Don't really need to worry about that. I think I've got all the materials down here. In... On this fire when getting ready for other stuff. Also, we have to make sure that they can get across that, don't they? Don't we? Probably should have had... The winged Pikmin over here. Hang on. Pack. Call them over. Just see if I can do that with this. Okay. Lift and float. And they don't have to worry about the thing on the ground. Alright, yeah. That's so helpful. Now this level should be fine. We just need to move the thing probably. Not that it really matters as well, because we can take a time on things. I'm gonna leave the extra Pikmin down there probably. Probably. <laughs> Do that, and we'll move the base. Just need to make sure that first treasure gets back first. There we go. Because we also have to dig up this one. This cave is really not that long. Compared to every other cave we've been to recently. Really not that bad. It's kind of crazy to think about. How much things have changed since the demo. The demo was such, so much easy mode. Basically. Also, oh, that's part of the train track set. Good thing we have that now. Also, oh, we're already done here? I think so. I could pluck the other yellows, but I'm going to leave them. Okay, that's one cave. So let's go into the next one. Which will take even less time, probably. Like, way less time. But we also get some more ice pigment from this as well, so that's good. As long as it gives us more for doing that. Hopefully. Okay, are these still dead? Wow. That's very forgiving, considering. Also, there are more. But they're not fighting this thing because it's still dead. That's strange that it's still the same. You can see how much of a rush I was in last time I was here to just get through to continue the, dem the demo. Wow, that was fast. <sighs> good, good, good cave. Cave good. Also, that's another set complete that I hadn't had completed because of doing other cave stuff. And there we go. Also that as well, for the rest of that set, that's getting close to done. But there we go, that's all of the Air Force area done now. Actually crazy <laughs> that that's done now. Great adventure series. That went way faster than I thought it would. I should probably should have just done that off screen, honestly. <laughs> because I was so fast. But now I can spend this day also getting some more materials maybe. And also, maybe some more potions, some berries. And some, probably should also blow up my blue Pikmin numbers. I kind of miss the night missions <laughs> in this area. This is a nice starting level, overall. Hang on, it still says there's a treasure somewhere. Which one am I forgetting? Ninety-nine percent. What have I missed? That I shouldn't have missed. I thought I had everything because of... Skipping demo stuff. Is there another cave? Or am I just bad at this? Because it might be... The snack bean? Maybe there's something else. Around here-ish. Is there just something buried that I didn't get? I don't know. 
Took a while to find where that was. Yeah, it's just buried here. Okay, how did I not notice this? Is this something new that I haven't collected before? Or... I mean, I don't know if I've had a potato before. I've probably had this before, but just didn't know. I don't know. I, it might just be new, <laughs> to be honest. Hundred percent of area explored. Finally, it's the first time getting that message. Well, so it seems like this stops when you throw Pikmin onto it. it. Doesn't change color, possibly. That might just be my imagination, but I think it might be. Also, if you don't want them to cycle, you can also just have only one Pikmin type out as well, which is quite nice. Uh, where are you? Why are you in the void? Why is there a Pikmin in the void? That's concerning. I can't even get him. Well, that's a shame. Jump on, jump on Ochi. Oh, there we go. Also, hang on. I need to emergency recall. I was hoping to get these as well, but I'm just going to emergency recall my stuff back to the base. Instead of collecting the berries. Let's see how efficient that is. Pretty efficient. Pretty much all my Pikmin got back to base in that time. And now we have a much better Pikmin population for the blues. That one's probably the one that was stuck in the box, the bag. Wasn't much, but it was worthwhile. We completed also this series. The Recreation Recollection series. And also the Great Adventure series. Which we've already collect completed, I'm pretty sure. And we got the Child of the Earth. And now, we have 195 blue Pikmin. Good stuff. I'd like to build up a large stock of medicine, so get back out there and explore tonight, new blood. Hold on now, creatures are more active at night. We certainly don't want our blue toad to suffer any injuries. Eh, <laughs> oh, don't you fret. What, am I, what, what I am here for, if not to heal those who put themselves needlessly at risk. I suppose he has a point. Just please be careful, Blue Toad. <laughs> Look at all these new missions. <laughs> Rescue mission, day 19. We should be pretty decently far into Pikmin 3 at this point, probably. So many things. We also have quite a decent number of... What's it called? Materials now, so we might want to also think about getting some more stuff from there. What options do we have? Power whistle? Increase the whistle's range by, well, a lot. Should now be even easier to gather your Pikmin. Treasure gauge plus? Now you can see the total amount of locations of treasures. 
These are both really worthwhile. Probably more worthwhile than the other stuff available. Treasure Gauge Plus. Power Whistle. And I'll get tough stuff as well. Air Armor Plus is now available. It's almost worth buying some Bomb Rocks as well. Just because I am not going to just get them, I guess. I mean, I can get them from digging up piles, but I have to actually go out of my way to do it, so... Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. No, there's more stuff. There's always more stuff. Oh ho, you think you've got this under, under control, is that it? No one can pull a fast one on me. Humph. Investigate one area 100%. I see. Well, you're not done yet, newbie. Keep at it, and finish the job. Need to fix, investigate 100% of another area. Which we can do now. Probably. Go back to the second area and clean up the last item there, and then spend another day collecting more stuff and building our numbers up, just because it's always good to build up our numbers. I think that's everything else at the moment. So let's go ahead and do that. Although I also want to check what stuff I can upgrade on Ochi. I always forget that to the last moment. Okay, we have three pup drive. Super buff is very tempting. Extremely tempting. But I should probably go for something else right now. Heal, maybe. Chomp. Dig. I think I think I'll actually go for super buff. I I don't know if I'll need it, but it's probably worthwhile. So I should also be learning big big chomp. I've already upgraded chomp a lot. Big chomp though would probably be good. Comparing with those enemies, comparing with a ball ball in one shot. And wow. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not one shot, but it's still pretty good. I thought it was gonna. It, I thought every time it showed that it was just gonna be one shotting things. I'll get upgrade dig as well. Okay, we're doing good. I wish I could sort this by what's available. <laughs> but anyway. Blossoming Arcadia. We have two treasures left. According to the thing, because we can see that now. 86! That's crazy. All on the surface, because we can check that as well. Good to know. Very good to know. 99%. This game is crazy. Also, why do I feel like it's going to be even bigger than I even imagine right now? Like, we, I feel like there's going to be so many more areas yet. But I have no idea. <laughs> there could be so much. So many days worth of exploring stuff. Uh, but anyway, this is not where I would have thought we would be for getting the last thing. But that's okay. It means we can explore a bit. Or something. We could also split our party up a little bit. If we really wanted to. We can also call Pikmin that are left on the field as well. There's a lot of good things we can do now. That makes everything just way easier. How do I get this one yellow? <laughs> but none of the rest. I need 12 for that. That should be alright then. Also, hang on. Let me throw you away. Throw you away. That one. Oh, she got himself into a tussle. What are you doing? Also, I still need to find that last thing, so... Get over that. Now, if I had to guess, it's probably over here because I didn't explore much over there. Maybe up there. 
So how do I leave so many enemies alive? They're probably just the butterflies though. Oh, hello. There's just a thing here. Which we can throw stuff onto to get a whole bunch of stuff back. Oh, very nice. Unfortunately, I don't have the pigment for all this. Maybe that could change. Also, if they're stuck on a task and I don't, that I don't get them doing, then they'll be in trouble. So I need to keep an eye on them for stuff like that. Not picking up anything. It's a little bit concerning. But I know there's something somewhere. Took out the survey drone because I couldn't really find it. It appears to be over this way somewhere. Probably buried in the sand. Yeah, I would not have found it if I was not paying more attention to things. Also, there was just a bomb rock there from the thing that we dug up a long time ago and I just didn't find it. So... Up there? Apparently. need yellows for it though and they're taking their time. There we go. Let's get it. Yeah, I would not have noticed that if I didn't already look at the map thing that told me to look for it. Basically. Area 2 complete. Nice. Well, another good day of just collecting stuff, building up our numbers and all that. And a whole nother area cleared. Very nice. The only thing we haven't cleared in this area is the last night stage. Which we could even do now, possibly. And it probably wouldn't take too long either. It's so nice to cl clear out an entire area. It's just strange that they haven't- they didn't respawn, because I would have expected them to respawn by now if I came back to it. But nothing had changed, so. Unfloatable boat. Moonching vase. Vase. Investigation complete of this area. We also grew 132 new Pikmin. They're pretty close, actually. That's surprising. Raw material went down a lot, but that's because we bought some more stuff. Didn't really find any raw material in this area, though. Going back to it, anyway. No! Halt! Come come no closer! Captain? What is it? What's wrong? They're here! On the SS Shepard! Pikmin! So many Pikmin! At this rate, we'll be crushed! Uh, Captain? I'm not seeing any Pikmin. What? Oh my! Thank goodness! It was just a nightmare. I mean, it was a dream. I was giving the Pikmin orders, and I wasn't afraid at all. Not one bit. Of course not. I totally believe you, boss. Rescue mission day 20. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh ho! You think you've got this under control? Is that it? Don't pull a fast one on me. Tidy more material. I see. Well, you're not done yet, newbie. Keep uh, keep at it and finish the job. You need to investigate 100% of three areas. Cool. 
Well, that's that done. Very nice. Is there anything in the lab that we can get that's worthwhile? So that was a good question. Nothing new. Um, sniff saver so you can be immune to poison is probably a good idea. So let's go with that. Now, let's do another night mission. Just have an extra cure just in case we run into any more leaflings. We could also go do some of these ones, but I want to do them after I've done all the day stuff. Misshapen Pond. Two star difficulty. If they're not hit directly by a globe mob, nearby creatures can still be affected by it. Cool. Good. I mean, I don't know what the range on it is, but it's... something. Just need to do our best. Oh, there's two. That's what I thought. Okay. Hey, new blood, can you hear me? About tonight's location. You should find two lim luminals. That's exciting, because if you proje protect them until morning, we can harvest two glow saps. <laughs> My hypothesis is that the two lu uh, luminals are connected underground. What does that mean? Well, if one breaks, neither will release glow sap. There's only one of you. So this might be a good t time to take advantage of Ochi's protection skills. Definitely. Okay, Ochi. I believe in you to protect Orange. No. Nope. Actually, I want you to protect Blue, I think. Probably actually we should have gone with Blue. Orange. You know what I mean. It's fine. We just do some stuff. It's fine. These guys are gonna be really annoying. I should actually probably take Ochi for these. Focus on protecting after that. Oh boy, got some. Yeah, I'm in trouble already. I'm doing bad because I'm trying to do that. Instead of trying to bring up my numbers. Let's try and do a bit of this. If I can use this, maybe, as an opportunity to not lose my stuff, that'd be good. Also need to stun things. I should be doing that against the other enemies. Hello. Good stuff. Can't see what's happening, so we might be alright. That's how that works, right? Ooh, is Ochi fighting something? There's something over there, so we might want to get that. We've got a pro problem. The luminol is under attack. If it takes too much damage, we won't get the medicinal ingredients we need from it. Get rid of those creatures, new blood. I'm on it. We also have two warnings, so... To survive. Might be alright, maybe. That's a very hopeful. Especially with these things up here. Try and get the back one. Just get all of them, really. Just gotta do what I can. Uh, Ochi, go protect Orange. While well, I figure out what else I can do currently. There's nothing else this way. In fact, those might be the last few enemies, except for that one up there, and those ones up there. Let's go back this way. Also have this to protect this one, kind of.
Nope. Nope. I think I got him. It's fine there. Oh boy, that's bad. Very bad. Very bad indeed. Stun him. And get him. Okay, and lost on me. Let's try and charge for it. Oh, it has to really cool down. The trick knoll is being attacked. That's okay, because I think this is the last thing. And this is even the last pile of star pieces as well. So there we go. Fantastic. There's not a single creature left standing. Or skittering or hopping. Amazing work tonight, as per usual. Alright then, you blood, go click that glow sap. That's our first taste of what it's like with multiple luminals. I know it's gonna be later on. 10 out of 10 creatures, not too bad. It was going easy on us. We got two cures for the next two leaflings, unless they need to start taking more cures the further in we get. 12 more glow seeds, very nice. Hey, nice job at, nice job with the night ex, exp, expeditions. No, dingo, don't eat that, no. Ah. Oh, um, excuse me, but yes, excellent work up there on the night expedition, Blue Toad. Aha, uh -huh. you're feeling a bit groggy right now. Oh, uh, no. I just dozed off for a second, that's all. As always, I'm awake and totally alert f for those night expeditions. You're hearing my transmission loud and clear, right, Blue Toad? <laughs> well, I'm the night expedition guide, so it's okay if you, uh, for you to get some sleep, Colin. No, it isn't. I'm the Rescue Corps comms com operator. I can't sleep on the job. Besides, I always make sure to take a quick nap before anyone sets out, so I'm fine. I see. Then please, why don't you try a special concoction of mine? I call it Tired Be Gone. <laughs> You're telling me it's perfectly okay to drink something that color, really? X no, rescue mission day twenty one. Well, wow, <laughs> making progress. I don't think there's anyone. No, there is somebody else who wants something. At the moment. I think that's probably about it for characters that want stuff. Wow, thanks a ton. You bloomed a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. They're so beautiful. 30 more materials. Mission complete. But you can't really be done, right? This world needs more flowers. Keep blossoming. You gotta keep blo blooming. 300 more. Seems like a good reward for just keep playing, I guess. But anyway, I think that's probably it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.